Hello you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel, the Ministry of Stupid Hair. Yes, still haven't got the missus to do it. I must grab her today. <sighs> Will it be like Samson and she's going to suck all my energy? No, I think, yeah, I think the virus did that already. So yeah, okay then, that will, but I'll be safe. But anyway guys, yes, welcome back to my channel for another Look at a fantastic emulator on this beastie because he forgot to bring it down to show you. Mm, that beastie, you know the one I mean. The RG351P. A beautiful machine, guys. And we're going to jump on a very unusual emulator again, guys. Not one that everybody has again. Unless you really love this kind of game, guys. Um, but first of all, I want to do a shout out to uh, a couple of really, really good friends of mine. Um, first of all, Yorkshireman66, um, yeah, he's feeling a bit down in the dumps at the moment and we all need to get over there and give him some bloody Yorkshire love, guys. Yeah, we need to go over and perk Mark up because I don't like a sad Mark. It makes me sad. So yeah, Yorkshireman66, guys, he will be linked below. Get over there and drop him some subs and some love, guys. And then, Danny. Danny, you're a star, mate. It's the channel called Exploring the World of Video Games and Blu-rays, guys. He's another one. He's on 50 subs at the moment and he deserves a hell of a lot more. Get him up there, guys. Come on, he's he is such a nice lad. He really, really is. Very, very nice lad. And if you love video games and you love Blu-rays, well, he's got you sorted, guys. He really has. So get over there. And again, guys, drop him a sub, some likes and get him up there because he deserves it. He puts a lot of work into his channel and he deserves every bit of love he can get. But yes, guys, back to this video. Yeah, we're gonna look at a very interesting one indeed. It is ScumVM. You know that one? You know, you don't, you don't know that one. Well, do you remember the point and click games back in the day, the LucasArts type point and click games? You got Day of the Tentacles, du -du -du. you got Full Throttle, Da, da, da. My favourite, by the way. I love full flipping throttle. It's got metal in it. How can I not love it? And, of course, one of the most famous of all. Secret of Monkey Island. Yeah, all those guys play on this emulator. Um, it takes a little bit more tinkering to get it going, guys, but it looks bloody stunning uh, when you do get it going on this gorgeous machine. So, yeah, we're going to jump on that one, guys. We're going to have a look at just a few titles. Um, because they are quite long-winded, uh, we're going to look at the cutscenes, guys. Because, to be quite frank, me going around with a cursor like this and searching things is not very entertaining. It is to me, because obviously I love point-and-clicks, and if you love point-and-clicks, you're going to want this emulator on your fantastic machine. But to sit back and watch a video of it is quite boring. Um, so yes, and we're going to look at the intros more than anything. And yeah. And just have a bit of fun with it, guys. Revisiting these fantastic old PC games, basically, aren't they? Yeah, from LucasArts and what have you. So, yeah, would you like to join me again for another look at this fantastic handheld, guys? The one I forgot to bring. You know the one I mean. Right, back in a sec, guys. Right guys, here we go as we take a look at another very, very, very interesting emulator running on the beautiful RG351P. This is ScumVM guys, that LucasArts point and click emulator. Now, this is not for the faint hearted guys, this one is not just, you know, straight out of the box and you play away, you know, there's a lot of tinkering involved. Um, I might even stumble a few times here trying to get them all to show. Uh, I've only got a few on there which are my absolute die-hard favourites, but they've got a nice long intro, so we should still get a half-decent video out of this, even if we're more or less looking at the uh, yeah, looking at the actual video side of it, I suppose. Um, because of course they are point-and-click games, which could be getting a bit boring for you people. It's always fun to play yourself, but to watch maybe not so much. But, without further ado, let's have a look, shall we? Let's go in. Right, so you can see guys here, 
it just says about menu and all that lot so you don't actually get a list of games coming up here because it's in scrum and vm itself guys so what you gotta do is go to menu and then it'll open it up it'll play up a little bit at first oh no it went straight there guys i tell you what that was lucky because it doesn't always right let's focus it in a bit more hopefully that's it as you can see i've got quite a few games here uh, Day of the Tentacles, for instance. Shall we play that one first? So, yeah, what you're going to find is, guys, is a little mouse comes up. Let's see where he's gone. Which one was it again? I can't remember. Oh, here he is. Look, there's the mouse. And, obviously, the way I've got it set up now, all the tinkering's been done. So now all I have to do is choose which game I want to play. So, Day of the Tentacles, and press A. Bring the mouse down to start, obviously, first, and then press A. Here we go, guys, and I'll let that play for you. These are fantastic games, guys, back in the day. Oh, my God. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we can bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius. Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic, guys. Like watching a cartoon. It is brilliant. Off they go to the to the mansion in their decrepit old crap car. It isn't that fantastic. It runs like a dream, guys. And I, obviously, I did say we won't look too much at the point and click side of things because it gets a bit boring. But at least you're getting to see the uh, the intros to it and how well they're running, guys. Perfect, seamlessly. We'll keep it playing for a bit longer. And then we'll move on to the next one. <laughs> Wicked.
and they have arrived. Of course, there you've got your choices at the bottom there. As usual, guys, with point and click. Right, we're going to leave it there. We'll have a look at another one back in a sec. Right, here we are, guys, back into the menu. And, uh, yeah, we're going to move on now to, oh, my absolute and utter favourite of all time from this period, guys. It's Full Throttle. Oh, this is awesome, this game, guys. Right, let's get straight in there. And have a look shall we so let's get the mouse ready again down he goes that's it and away we go
How cool was that? Wow. Heavy metal explosion. Hey Ben. You know Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Yeah, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right, who's the guy that drove over my car? What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two by four. I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! That was flipping fantastic. Now obviously guys, point and click again. So, where's he gone the little arrow? Well, there he is. Like, so yeah, you would scroll over things like this here, he says. Let's have a look. And it'll do, yeah, things. It'll search around the room. But we don't want to see that, do we? Because that's boring. Right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, I love full throttle. Right guys, here we go with The Secret of Monkey Island. Obviously shown this one on my channel a few times before, but never running on here. So yeah, well, running on this machine I have, because obviously it's on the Sega CD in it and what have you. But yeah, not running over Scummy VM. So yeah, let's go in there and have a look at this one then. He says, whoa, doing it wrong again. Look, here we go, get the old mouse. Oh, get on there, you. 
bugger. Where have we gone? Let's see. There we go, guys. Right. That music, guys. Oh. Oh, the humour in this game, guys, is hilarious. So we need to really go into the bar, don't we? So yeah, we need to get the old mouse going here. Uh, open. Let's go there a minute. Getting used to uh, using the mouse is a bit difficult, I must admit. You do get used to it in the end though, guys, especially if you're not looking down the blue viewfinder. Hey, that usually helps. Uh, I think it might be used then. I can't remember, guys. Only recently I played it as well, what a fool. It says underneath him, open. Push. Pull. All that. Gubbins. Maybe. Oh no, it's bringing it up there, look, yeah. Keep trying. All the different ones. No. Up. No. Give. No, it won't be give, will it? No. Right, guy, what are you doing to me, eh? Use. No. 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 Talk to. Hmm. Alright, guys, well, looks like that's as far as we're going to get, isn't it? Because I can't blink and remember. But as you can see, guys, it runs like a treat. you just got to get the right bloody bit, of you? Yeah. Come on, you. We don't want close, we want open. Let's try again. Ah, oh, well, there we go. At least we had a look at it, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So, yes, guys, as you can see, these are running like a flipping dream. 
But we'll have a look at uh, another one, guys. Uh, a bit of an older one this time. Right, back in a sec. Right, guys, let's have a look at The Lure of the Temptress. This is an older title, guys. Like I said, let's see how this runs, shall we? So, yeah, we've got to go back down to start game. Where are you gone, you little bugger? There he is. That's the one. And away we go. He says. Away we go. We should. There we go, guys. Nice to look at something earlier. The Virgin Games one, I call Let's adjust that. There we go. Skip for that. Fantastic to see these old games like this, guys. I'm playing on here so well. Fantastic. I'll let you read that. And then move on. Pause if you need longer. Fantastic music there, guys, eh? Dramatic, I should say. Alright, there we are, guys. And that is where we are going to leave it again. Um, yeah. I mean, wow. Fantastic. These games playing on here, guys. I mean, that was just a small sample. I'm still gathering up more games. And how wonderful that is going to be. Um, to play more and more of these point and click gems guys absolutely fantastic so i hope that you enjoyed this little look blinding absolutely blinding that they play so fantastic on here and especially full throttle one of my all-time favorites oh i just i was just so over the moon when that played like it did it is just wonderful guys um but yeah you've probably got one out there that you really really miss and you know remember fondly and you can bang it on here and play it guys with this more of an unusual emulator shall we say in the sense of not so many people want it but the people who do adore it and want it desperately there he is keeps coming through the door there look checking on him right there we are guys another look at another emulator running on the rg 351p like a dream also we didn't go into the gameplay so much because it's a bit boring for other people to watch you playing it but what a fantastic emulator for the people who won it so yeah there you go guys just gonna 
<laughs> says the usuals, really. If you're not subscribed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any notifications. And again, guys, don't forget, I have a Patreon page if you uh, want to go below. It's a little link there. You can head over, watch the video on why I set it up and decide whether you're going to join me on my Patreon journey. And I have a Facebook group, UK Crowd Gaming, all lowercase guys. If you go over there and have a search, please join. Um, yeah, it's a fantastic community growing over there. Other YouTubers post their videos up as well. So we're all getting it on there, guys. It's fantastic. Come over and join us. It, you, you won't regret it. That's for absolutely sure. Fantastic bunch. Right, and with that, guys, I'm going to say off videos in. Tschüss. And goodbye, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.